Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to multiply in seconds. Now, there's a lot of different tips on how to multiply very quickly, but the, really the most fundamental part on multiplying fast in seconds is really understanding and memorizing the multiplication tables. Because frankly, having a knowledge and memorization of those tables will really help you multiply really, really fast. Now, there's a few other tips out there that I can throw out there. For example, if you know, for example, 7 times 3 is going to equal to 21. Now, the important part here is the last digit. Because if you have any number that ends with a 7 and you multiply any number that ends with a 3, you know that at the very, very end is going to end with a 1. It's just a matter of being able to multiply from there. It's little tips like that that's going to help you multiply very quickly. Another example is if you have, and you know, 8 times 8 is equal to 64, what that tells you here is the last digit you know is 4, but what that means specifically is if you have a number that ends with an 8 and multiplying, a number that ends with an 8, you're going to end up with a number that ends in 4. So for example, if you have 28 times 18, eight, you're going to start out with 8 times 8, which is going to give you 64, and you have the 4 here, and that's a guarantee because as you work the rest of the problem out, the 4 will end up staying put, and then you're going to continue with the rest of the multiplication problem. But when it comes to multiplying quickly, multiplication tables would be first, and then understanding how the power of the last digit works is really, really helpful. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and those are some tips on how to multiply in seconds.